All right, guys, so in this one, what we have is we have Photoshop open. You're gonna learn how to remove any logo off your photos today in Photoshop. So we have Photoshop open and all we did is we went file open. You'll have whatever you're working on with a logo that let's say you don't have the work file or you can't go backwards with. Photoshop has some pretty unique tools here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the tools and I'm just gonna show you the different options here. So one that I like is the remove tool. And then I make sure I come up here, I click auto may use generative AI, right? And then you can select it, find distractions. Size 58 is fine. I'm gonna just highlight this whole thing. And we're gonna see how that does. We have a couple different logos on photos. And what's going to happen is these are going to print. So we are going to see what happens here. Okay. And if I hit Command Z and go backwards, that's one option. I'm going to try it a couple different times and see what happens here. Okay, so that was with Generative AI. Next, I'm going to use the Spot Healing Brush tool. And just to see how close we can get this. Okay, well, <clears throat> Healing Brush tool. Healing Brush tool on the Mac, you'd have to hit Option, left click an area, and kind of like work with it like that to move it around. There's patch tool, which might work. <laughs> More importantly, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool. And we're just going to draw around it like so. Close it, right click. And we'll make selection. Okay, and now that it's highlighted, we can come up to File, Edit, and Content-Aware Fill. Okay, Content-Aware Fill is going to want us to, like, paint around the image. We'll click OK. Still not that good. All right. We're going to go back to the AI remove tool and we are just going to select it. All right. So far, that has been the best, guys. As you can see, that is right up here in the brushes and the healing brushes. And this was the remove tool, and we made sure that auto was on. Next, because I'm exporting this, I'm just going to give them a large file size. The rule here is anything over 5,000. So just one of the numbers over 5,000. If it's going to print, I'm not sure their size. But then I'll put this back in the folder, and I'll just write final on it. And I'll hit save. So that was some options and it showed like a little bit of failure as well. And that's gonna have to be the, the best it gets and it works. So guys, use this if you're trying to remove your logos from your photos later.